What's going on Facebook and YouTube? It's K-I-M and the S-A-V. Kim out of Savannah, Georgia of BetterBodyCrew.com. And hello, Instagram. How are you doing today? Y'all, I had... It's been such a crazy, crazy day. I was up, like, all night last night. I did not go back. I did not go to bed until, like, 8 o'clock this morning. For real, for real. It was crazy. Um, so, if you have messaged me today and I have not gotten back to you, please do not. What's going on, Legend Janelle? Guess what? It's our boy Legend from OG on the IG. What's going on? Miss you, brother. How many kids you got now? Six? Something like that? I see you. Do your thing. I don't comment, though, because I'll be doing dishes and uh, <laughs> housework. Um, but, I, but I do need to revisit your page and really catch up. Um, Legends on, Janelle. I don't know why I still can't see Facebook comments. But, guys, I do not want to be long because I have so many videos to cut. So much stuff on my mind. I just got to get it out. So, I entitled this one on Facebook and YouTube, The Circle of Lies. The circle there's something called the circle of lies it's a concept that god gifted to me last night while i was talking with um some of my leaders and here is how it works you do not lament any negative thing in your business in your life because it's all preparation for something bigger and better it's all preparation for the next level so let me explain to you those of you who do not understand what the circle of lies is okay so when you start your business right especially if you're in my profession the the wonderful profession of mlm which stands for multi-level madness no i'm just playing it stands for multi-level marketing but if you're in my profession right you start your business and the first thing you do is you're like oh my gosh i'm gonna go tell all my family and friends because they love me and they're going to support me like i've supported them and, and of course they're gonna want to join arms with me and get rich right <laughs> we be so funny all right and sometimes our family and friends do join or become customers but it's a very small percentage now the re what do the rest of those family members and friends and by the way if you're a family member or a friend of mine do not think I'm talking about you because I'm not gonna lie y'all I have a super supportive family I really really do like I am truly blessed but I do know that I'm in the minority of people who have super supportive I have a super supportive family now my circle of friends found out something about some some things about some of my friends some of the so-called ride or dies right but anyway as it relates to relates to family i'm good okay but what the majority of people are going to find out and feel free to share this with your team members because i'll be the bad guy i'll break the bad news to them okay you don't have to do it i'm here for you i got your back boo so the majority of people are going to find out that their family members and friends are going to lie to them. They're going to be like, yeah, I'm going to join your business. Like, I literally had somebody on my team tell me that this guy reached out to her and was like, man, I've been seeing this company. I've been seeing the products. I've been seeing the testimonials. I'm going to join with you because there's no one else that I would do this with other than you. She followed with them the next week like, hey, what's good? And then he told her, well, I'm considering you and two other people. Bruh. <laughs> bra 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 where did you go like in a few days how did it go from there's no one else that i would do this with other than you because i see what you're doing and you're so consistent and you're so serious how did you go from that to now i'm in the runnings with two other people okay so and people don't guys let me explain to you something about a lie because a lot of times people the word lie has a bad connotation right we're told not to lie and people don't want to think of themselves as liars but let me tell you what a lie is it's anything that is not true so whether you mean to or not oftentimes many of us lie many of us lie and that's why i do not speak so quickly i don't obligate myself to do certain things if i'm not 100 percent sure that i can do it because i don't want to lie inadvertently okay i want to be a person of my word i want to keep my word to you but a lot of people out of feeling guilty or trying to give extra reassurance they will lie to you okay and so you're gonna find that your family members and friends will lie to you i'm gonna do it when i get paid yeah girl i got your back yeah i'll support you and then they never do and this first hurdle this first hump is where most people fail because when they have people that are near and dear to their heart when they have people that they think love and support them and they do love you but that doesn't always translate to supporting you especially not in the way that you need but when the people that it's always the people that are closest to us that can hurt us the most and this is where a lot of people quit 
they quit the business right then and there because they're just like dang if i can't get my my sister my cousin my mom i had somebody on my team and their mom she knew that she told her mom about the products and her mom went and bought the products from another person because it was cheaper and then came back to her daughter and was like now how do i use these and she was like mom you bought them from somebody else she was like well they had a better price i was just like dang she's savage savage mom happy daddy my mama um that girl quit the business you know she quit the business because it's a tough pill to swallow when the people who are closest to you do you so dirty but let me tell you something those lies that your family members and friends tell you if you can overcome that hump mentally I, and I tell my team this all the time there's way more people out there in the world that you don't know than people that you do there's way more strangers than family members and friends so don't worry about it don't sweat it girl don't sweat it my dude right so if you can overcome that hump from when your family members and friends lie to you then next you're going to get into stranger territory this is where you get your customers now if your family members and friends have lied to you and now you go to the the area of your customers you're going to find that some of your customers lie to you too they're going to tell you the same exact thing yeah i'm gonna join with you next thing you look up and they're like well i found out my best friend was doing it so i'm gonna join with her but i i want to pick your brain though and you're like what you're going to have customers that tell you they're going to do it when they get they uh when they get paid on uh payday they're going to buy when they get on, on paid on friday and they don't buy you're going to have customers that say oh gosh that's the sale hold it for me i promise i got you and you never hear from them again you're going to have customers that say man i really 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 want to lose weight i really really do and then you're gonna say okay it's all right i got your back and they never buy from you but but if you survive your family members and your friends lying to you now it becomes easier when the strangers lie to you because you're like been there done that if my mama didn't break me if my sister didn't break me if my cousin didn't break me if my best friend didn't break me you're not gonna break me so i'm gonna keep rocking and rolling and so your family members and friends they are preparation for your customers. And guess what? Your customers are preparation for your team. When you, ha it all fits together, y'all. When you have customers that tell you they're gonna do all this stuff and then uh, they don't do it, again, you're building up a layer of thick skin. You're building up a layer of exactly what it is you need to stay in the game and ultimately have success. So then when you get your team members, right? You can have customers and they can be like, even if they buy, even if they buy, you put them in the support group, they don't plug into the support group, you say, hey, we're gonna have a Q&A session, jump on. They don't watch the Q&A session, and then they get in your inbox and ask you individual questions. You uh, can tell your customers, hey, listen, there's, um, hey, you need to keep consistent, at least for 90 days. So do you wanna be on the auto ship? No, I don't wanna be on the auto ship. And then they're, they're buying products every six months and then saying to you, the product's not working for me. It's like, well, you haven't been consistent. Have you drank your water? No, I don't like water. <laughs> and you're like, that's not funny. You know, that's why you're not getting your results, right? So your customers, even if they buy from you, they're not gonna fully commit to the process. That's preparation for your team, boys and girls. That's preparation for your team, boys and girls. So when you have customers that lie to you or tell you the truth but still don't fully commit, that is preparation for the team members that you're going to have come on board who join you and tell you, oh my gosh, I want financial freedom. Yes, I got to do this. My kids, that's my why that makes me cry. My husband, my wife, my mom, my dad. You're going to have team members that join you and be like, I, I want to I wanna replace my income. I want to make 6000 a month. And they don't go to no train. Just like your customers bought from you and they didn't plug into your support group. Just like your customers bought from you and they didn't stay consistent you're gonna have some team members who do the same exact thing they're gonna join you not go to trainings not keep their auto ship active not do a doggone thing and then come to you and talk to you about um just like your customers say i didn't lose no weight i didn't lose no inches you're gonna have teammates that say i don't like my check how she making sales and i ain't making no sales i don't understand and you're like well let me break it down for you you haven't done not nothing <laughs> that you need to do to get your check to go up right so your family members and friends are preparation for your customers your customers are preparation for your team and now we're going to complete the circle of lives because guess what your team is preparation again for your family members and friends. How, Kim? How, Sway? <laughs> let me tell you, let me break it down for you. When you have team members who join the journey, 
but they don't fully commit to the process what you've got to do as a leader again you got to build up that thick skin you have got to have a spirit of discernment you have got to learn how to say guess what you're no longer entitled to waste my time you no longer can have access to me you have not done what you're supposed to do so you're not deserving of my coaching anymore at this point i'm going to have to let you go gonna have to let you just do your own thing and when you get your mind right holler back at your girl i have had to do this with some people on my team i've had to kick them out the whatsapp group because they were abusing the group using it as their own personal concierge service right and and they were taking more from the group than they were contributing to the group so i had to kick them out of the group and guess what they were like dang now i missed the group let me get my stuff together so i can get back into the group and they apologize and it was all good in the hook okay but you have to build up that thick skin you have to be able to say to people and this is where a lot of people fall too and this is how they end up with an adult daycare because they are scared that a person is going to quit they're scared that a person is going to go and act up they're scared that a person is going to be mad at them oh, i want my team to be mad at me so they do whatever the person doesn't come to training and they say hey how do i make commission and you say this is how you do it and then they say well how do I get the money? And you say, this is how you set up your pay portal. And now you're having this one-on-one -on -one conversation with a person going over everything that was that you discussed in training, that was discussed in training, the training that they didn't attend. And guess what? You are now training that person to not participate in training because if you're going to answer their questions one by one on an individual basis, why would they come to training? Why would they? Why would if they can just go direct to you, to the source, and get what they want whenever, on demand, on demand, why would they participate in training? You have not given them any reason to. And so you've created this cycle where they don't participate in training, so they come to you and ask you all the questions that you covered in training, and now you're mad because you're like, why don't they get on training where this information is? But you haven't given them any reason to. So if in your leadership development, you've got to learn how to shut that down. You've got to learn how to say no. This is not the system. This is not the process. I know you don't mean to do what you're doing, but you are proving to not be teachable and coachable. So we can't work together until you get it together. Right? You have proven that you don't deserve my time. It is not fair when you, when someone is not teachable and coachable and you cater to them outside of the system, outside of the process, right? When someone, when you, you cater to them, you're basically, like I said, training them that they don't have to follow the system in the process. Okay? And it, it, it's going to eventually make you quit. It just is. Now, how does this relate back to family members and friends? If you can keep all of, if you can outlast all of these people that will lie to you, and say that they want to do something they really haven't committed to 100%, if you can still remain standing through all the lies from your family members and friends from strangers who say they want to lose weight from teammates who say they want to make major bank if you're still standing you're going to be successful extremely successful you're going to make money you will have beat down the door to success so hard so hard you would have been knocking on the door for so long for so long, for so long, for so long, for so long that your knuckles bleed. For so long, for so long that success finally says, oh God, she won't stop knocking. Just open up the doggone door and let her in. Oh, I'm sorry, son. I'm okay. <laughs> I'm not locked out. <laughs> That's his, see, he's, he's a representation. I forgot. He's a representation of success. You knock long enough and success is going to be like, what? You need, you want to come in? And it's going to let you in. Now, when success lets you in and the money starts flowing so uncontrollably that you're just like, wow, it worked. Guess what? Those same family members and friends at the beginning of the circle of lives, they're going to come back to you and say, I knew you would do it. Look at you, girl. I'm proud of you, girl. Proud of you, oh, proud of you, girl. You did that, girl. And you're gonna be like, yeah, girl. And then I'm gonna be like, by the way, my light bills do. <laughs> my car notes do. I need some help with my rent. 
you know, life hard, the struggle is real, and they're going to give you this long story and dance, and I'm telling y'all, it is only because you will have developed the art of, of how to shut people down when they're not deserving of your time, now you'll be able to shut down family members and friends who are not deserving of your money. Not because they're bad people, but because you gave them a chance from the giddy up to participate in their own rescue. You gave them a chance. You, you were trying to teach them how to fish and they didn't want to learn how to fish, so now they can't eat. And successful people will tell you this all the time. I study successful people, not just in my profession, successful people, period. And they will tell you, you have to learn to say no quickly. Otherwise, you will be back to broke before you know it because everybody will come for your coins. Everybody will come for your money. Everybody will be like, remember that time you were seven years old and I gave you a ride to soccer practice? Mm-hmm. you be like, what? in tarnation does that have to do with me being rich now in my MLM business or whatever it is you're doing remember remember that time you wanted a honey bun and I was like you can have the last bite yeah good times good times yeah those were good times but you're still not getting this loan you're not getting this money I'm telling y'all your team if you pay attention to your team and how they maneuver and how they don't do what they say they're going to do to be deserving of your time, then you'll have no problem shutting down your family members and friends when they ask for your money. The same people who said, I'll support you, I'll join you, I'll this, I'll that. And it's not a tit for tat thing, it's not a karma thing, it's not a revenge thing, it's not uh, um, it's not any of those things. It's just that you have got, you've got to learn to only give your attention and your resources to people that are deserving of them. So if you learn how to not let your teammates manipulate you, right, when they join the business because I don't want them to quit, then you will be so much better prepared for when the riches come, you'll be so much better prepared to learn how to not let your family members and friends manipulate you with the money, okay? People that there are people that are not deserving of your time. There are people that are not deserving of your riches, and it's all a process. You've got to learn how to say no, who to say no to. You've got to learn when people are, you know, shucking and jiving with you and just telling you anything that you want to hear. You've got to learn how to distinguish between like loving somebody and enabling somebody. You've got to learn those things, and they're hard lessons to learn, y'all. But it's all it, it builds upon itself. Don't resent your customers who lie to you and don't buy on payday. They're preparing you for the team who's going to lie to you and join you and not attend training. Don't don't resent your team. Don't resent your team when they don't plug in and then they, they call you and ask you, what did you learn on training? And then you say, I can't tell you. You need to be on training. And actually, I cannot pick up the phone again if you do not prove to be teachable and coachable. Don't resent them when they say, I thought you were my sponsor. I thought you were going to help me. You didn't help me. That's okay. They are preparing you. They are preparing you for the family members and friends that when you get your riches and they now went alone, they didn't work for your, they didn't work hard. They didn't stay up late. They didn't do any personal development. They didn't go on the trainings. They didn't take and sacrifice their bill money to pay their auto ship to make that money expand. They didn't do any of those things. But now they will feel entitled to it because y'all share some DNA. And then they say, and then you say, no, I'm not going to give you that loan. But if you want, I'll teach you how to make this money. They say, oh, I, I thought you loved me. I thought you loved me. Just like your team members used to say, I thought you were supposed to help me as my sponsor. Guys, it's the circle of lies. People lie whether they know it or not, whether they mean to or not. The majority of people lie. The majority of people do not keep them words, their word to themselves. So don't expect them to have more allegiance to you than they do to themselves. They lie to themselves. Don't be mad when they lie to you. It's okay. It's all there to prepare you for the next level. So keep in mind the circle of lies and be happy when someone lies to you because they are they're preparing you for the next level. I, I promise you that. I promise you that. So, did you find this message helpful? Facebook, I still cannot see your comments until I complete the broadcast. Are you going to share this with your team so that they understand? Don't be upset. The majority of people lie, y'all. I used to be a liar. I used to tell people, yeah, girl, I'll buy it from you. And I had the best of intentions. Right? But the road to hell is paved, it's paved with the best of intentions. But I would forget. And, you know, about, the bottom line is a lie, a lie. Anything, a lie is a lie. Anything that is not true is a lie. It's a lie. 
but don't resent the lies okay because they prefer, prepare you for the next levels lies prepare you for the next level all right so ig before you leave follow me facebook hit follow and see first and youtube hit subscribe and bang the bell to the right team dog so every time i upload a new video you be the first to know thank you now that i hit 5,000 subscribers i really appreciate y'all i love the great comments the um the hateful comments they're comical y'all are the spice of life y'all act like i really care about you you don't even have the courage to put up your picture but somehow you think i care about your opinion it's so funny so regardless of whether you love me or you hate me i still love you and there's nothing you can do about it bye y'all <laughs>